Hello YouTube, this is Force Potenza and welcome to a very different series that I'm sort of starting. This is one where I'm going to look at sort of the unknown games. And lots of them are old, some of them you... Lots of them just the, whatever you get on Steam. Uh, yeah, this is going to be Unsung Hero or Zero. Basically at the end, I sort of say whether it's good or not. If it's good, I say it's a hero. If not... Whatever. Um, it's just it's an idea I've had for a while. I did used to do it before everything got changed. So um, this is a game called Harmer's Way that we're starting off with. Um, you've got two modes. You can play as the driver or the shooter. If you're the shooter, you control all these turrets. And you can use your controls for that in a minute. Basically, you have to try and... You score points for how much damage you do to other cars. You know, if, if you're seeing like, mines and stuff, you can try and blow them up to cause damage to other cars. Driver, you just gotta try and drive around it in a three lap race and still win the race. Quite a challenge. Um, I'm gonna show off the driver. I'm gonna show off the shooting mode first. I think that's quite fun. Um, I'm gonna do it on left stick. Um, I have tried on right stick. Yeah. yeah. You got the three maps. The campaign might unlock more, but I don't. I'm not holding my hopes about that. Looking at that. Let me go for a single map. Go for this desert arch one. It's the only one I've not tried at all. There's a bloom, whatever it is. So the only one I've never tried. Um, but you can see what you can do. Um, you can. It's meant for um, co-op. You can play it on your own, but it's meant for co-op gameplay. It's one of those. Um, I won't be doing any of that today. I, I never have done any of that. I've got on the same as a shooter. But it's basically, you can move across the turrets as well. That's quite a good thing about this game. And let's try and get a good shot. That wasn't quite what I was hoping for. Okay, so now Oh, I'm trying to get a good shot, it's quite difficult. Uh, please don't shoot me, he's apparently playing. I'm the wolf hunter. The amount of smoke then. Are they gone? I think so. Yeah, they've gone past that one. I'm just gonna get, oh, you need to try and get ahead of them to plan your shots. But it is quite difficult on the way that you're constantly changing turrets. And use the uh, bumpers to change turrets. So you got your um, right bumper and your left bumper. You have to try and change turrets to get the best shot and to try and keep up with where the cars are. I mean, see, I'm not getting hanged here. There's some places where I could get some really good shots and now I know. I might spend less place at others. I might less time at others. And let's just get to turret 3 and then go back. Oh, I'm all gone too far. Yeah, they're quite a bit in the distance. And now, uh, here we are. This is a good... It's all about trying to line up your shot. So, if you can see where they're going to be, it's easy to line them up. But if you're not that good yet, it's quite hard. Yeah, I think the wolf hunt has gone over a mine. I'm probably the best to get into this one because this one gives me a good shot. I think I did hit him. I hit something. I hit him that time. Whatever happened. Let's get to this one. I like getting at the corners where you can just pick him off a little bit. I'm not very good at this. But then again, I'm not used to playing games like this at all. Uh, got there a bad time. You want to get there a bit earlier for um, a couple of them as well. That's one thing I have found. Ah, oh, I've hit the tires of Team Roadhog. I'm doing well. Ah, oh, come on. Get in position. Let's try and get someone. Oh, there we go, the Wolf Hunter is... Nah. Alright, the team now. I'm oh, well, that was a good shot there. Oh, come on, let's try and get some more points. I have one on less points than this. So I'm feeling a bit more confident. Now, this is the one that's in the lead. Can we destroy someone? No. Nowhere near. Uh, come on. I'm just going to get this one ready because he's going to be coming and I want to try and get him. And he goes to the... Oh, that was a good shot. That was fantastic. 
You can see if you get there early, you can sort of line up your shot. He's got a shield. That's what you need to try and do is to try and line them up. So if you can get somewhere that bit earlier, like I am doing, just line up your next shot. It's quite good how you got this aspect. It's, it makes it a really weird sort of racing game. It's, it's a weird sort of dark arcade thing. It's quite fun. It's not that dark. It still feels quite arcade. -y. It's nice. It's a good experience playing this game. Certainly different. I'll say that at the very least. So I couldn't resist with a name like, please don't shoot me, so it go for you. I saw it, and that was a good shot then. So I'm getting some good hits on them. And I've scored 16,000 points, 22% accuracy. It doesn't particularly surprise me. And you get the stats as well. I've got one kill, one windshield hit, and three tyre hits. Wasn't the greatest. Let's do some driving. See if we can beat the AI. Oh goodness, that was a quick time. Get things sorted. I will show the vehicles. We've got a buggy, pickup, truck, or a bus. I tend to go for the buggy because I like the buggy. Um, you can play with or without butts. I tend to play with them because I don't like the. Um, yeah, this game's quite good. You'll see in a minute the car handling. It's not the. Th it's not perfect. It's not the be all and end all. It's good enough. <laughs> I quite like this game. I had had it for a while and then I just thought I was completely terrible at it and now I've started playing it a little bit more. Um, because I wanted to, re to bring back this series. Okay, I've just actually in the respawn trying to change camera. Don't you hate it when that happens? But yeah, um, I've got back into this. I, I did use, I used to play it very little. But now I've got back into it, I do quite enjoy it. Now, to play around, it's the, I think when you're in the air, the left analog stick can it's like controlling the steering. And I like the early shop as well, and left analog stick um, controls like the stunt, so you can do like rolls and stuff and get points. I was getting a bit close in person to a truck there, and my car's almost destroyed. You can see the damage being on the screen. You can see the damage for other cars, which is quite nice. And um, you get nitrous. And it's got like the power up system, it's the same ones in each place. So it's not like Mario Kart or like other karting games where we're in different places to each time. It's quite good. Um, let's find, let's get some nitrous. Okay, my car's repaired somehow. I don't know if I went over a repair power up. I really don't know. I, I don't know that much about this game. I don't know what all the power ups do. You can see there, I was trying to straighten it up in the air. Now I'm up in second. Come on, can we take the lead? I believe we can. You get used to the track lights. I've done this one quite a bit. Now, so I do a barrel roll and that's not done too well and I've exploded. And we've got to wait for the respawn now that we're in last play. Oh, come on. I don't know if that's a shield. I don't know if you get like a shield or something for um, the first few seconds after the respawn. But there seems to be something and oh, I'm damaging my car doing that. You can just see the damage going down. You do that. Ooh, good stuff. And a lot of the times you can see like the uh, other explosion when they're trying to hit up. It's quite an interesting race because you got with most racing games you have um, the one thing you're worried about and that's the race result. And this one you've got the two because you're worried about. I'm saying where am I? I'm, I'm massively off track, aren't I? Yeah, I'm the blue team. I'm massively off. I'm trying to get back to the track. But on this you're worried about. Not just the race, but um, that's it. Is about to blow. But you're worried not just about the race in this, so it's really interesting. Also, I didn't realise you got that far wide back then you spawned. Yeah, there's up mines and all sorts to try and dodge. I've got a very, I'm doing quite bad for damage. There's things blowing up all around us, and I'm just keeping going. Go on, let's get the night sure. I'm not going to recover this race. I'll tend to take the alternative route. Oh, I've almost rolled, I've almost rolled. I've got it, because it went up in the air when it almost rolled, I was able to flick it right and get back on my wheel. That was very useful then. Oh, this is a job that I don't really like, and oh god, oh crap. I've used night just going backwards. But I've almost caught up to third. I thought I was being lapped. No, this is the car ahead of me. 
the car ahead of me is actually battling with me for position. So I'm looking to second. Gonna have a turret downgrade thing. I think that's when there's online people controlling the turrets. You can give them downgrades, and if you run over the wrong power up, to give them upgrades. Quite useful, I can imagine. Now, there we go. Get past the good citizen, please. Yeah. I'm not going massively wide this time. I've been wrecked. I'm not that surprised. Get me back going. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, this game is quite entertaining. I I'm amazed at how entertaining this actually is. And oh goodness, you want to try and avoid that. Look, like, the alternative ones don't have these things that can be caved in on you. Like if you're taking up a uh, slip route. Okay, I know it said this one's closed. I'm gonna try it anyway. Nah, it's the thing is, they get to the point where there's no point trying. As well as I just muck about, can't find alternative routes, and oh my goodness. Yeah, because I'm, I'm so far behind, I am trying all these mad routes. But you get to the point where I just don't, I'm sort of don't care enough now, I'm just going to try and have a bit of fun with it. Just find some useful things for next time. We use the nitrous now. But yeah, some of the routes get unlocked, I can't remember how, it did come up, but I just can't remember. Come on. If you get third, that might be, that would be mightily, mightily impressive. But you can see where the turrets are on the map, they're the red dots. That turret's facing me now. He's going to follow me all the way, and he's shot behind me. I've paced fourth. Right, I'm going to do one more race, because I do quite enjoy that. <laughs> um, yeah, like I say, I wouldn't say it's an amazing game, but... You know what, I do like it enough for me to say it's a definite game. I don't know, let's try a different vehicle. Um, that's got four speed, two armour. Oh, I'm going to go for that, for the armour. Right, let's go for um, Wasteland, that's one we haven't done in this video. Let's have a quick drink and we're ready to go. But yeah, um... I think it's meant for a cart thing. I don't know if you have certain teams or whatnot, but it's really good. Because you, most racing games, you're only worried about one thing, and that's how you do compared to other cars. And this one, you're worried about how the other cars are doing. A, a bit more. I think this one we, didn't, we haven't done yet. After that, or. Oh, you have to shoot that there. I don't know how to shoot. Okay. Didn't really, didn't really matter, I'm not too bothered about that. It's just, um, that might be for the turrets to shoot, that might be, so, um, if you've got like a team, I'm not sure how it works. It might be, I might just be making it complete rubbish. But I didn't do my research into this game, I just put something that I know not many people have heard. Uh, right, so, um, yeah, let's see what we can do. Yeah, he's got a shield now, the blue team, and I'm in the yellow team. I think mean, it's based on what vehicle you have, I think the blue teams have certain vehicles. And let's just try and get turned. Right. Now we're coming up here. I'm tempted to go down this... Oh, you know, I'm going for it. There we go, onto the road. Oh, this is the one, I remember doing the turrets on this now. On that bit in particular, I remember. Oh, unless that was in, um, the lad took two takes for this, but I got halfway through not understanding the game and then understood it halfway through a video, so I had to restart. Oh, my tyre's been hit, my tyre's been destroyed. That's bad. That is bad. Come on. We're in second, though. We're coping quite well. We've got about half damage. That's not too bad. We haven't got much straight line speed, but I don't tend to need straight line speed. I, I can do it in the corners. And I'm right on the tail of this car ahead. We've got, there we go, Nitrous. Yeah, and I love the apocalyptic feel of it. It feels really weird. Yeah, enjoyable at the same time. It's amazing. Right, can I get the Nitrous? Yeah, Nitro bonus. And, oop. Come on. You, and you, I love it, though. Like, so, Occasionally you'll get like the odd shot that gets really close and you have to try and dodge it. That's going to hit me you can see, oh my goodness, you have to dodge like, when they blow up certain things as well, you have to try and dodge those. It's amazing. Oh, I almost rolled that. How did I save it? 
I have no clue. There's a turret right there that I've just had to go right past. I think that's the start of finish line. Yeah, you can see um, the alternative routes when they're um, shut up. You can see like they're on red on the minimap. Um, I don't realise that really because I don't. I'm not paying attention to that. I'm just paying attention to keeping the car on the road. And uh, yeah, I've, I've been. Keep, and I think they're blowing up the power ups a little bit. But this car's just taking everything. We're leading the race. I'm actually good at this game now. I used to just fall up a road. I think it was this game at least. And that's going to fall, I think, the pile on. No, it hasn't. Ooh, night first. Missed it. The bridge has fallen. <laughs> that's amazing. The death. How the game is deformed. I mean, that bridge was intact last time I went over it, and now there's a crane falling. Now, can I dodge out the way of it? Yes. Yeah, I think I've got a shield. I think. There's mines there, and yeah, nice bonus. This is a small grip. That's good to see. Right, now this is the turret that marks the finish line. There we go. We've won a race to pretty much end this video on. Now, just remain to the rating. I'm going to say this game is a hero because it completely surprised me. I've played it before, didn't think anything of it, and I've come back and wow, we just want to play it some more. It, if anything, I'd say it's a bit easy. And the AI, there's still needs to be a difficulty level to it, but that for me is a good game. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. This has been Forza Potenza, and I shall see you in the next video, hopefully. Bye!